they expected me to be wonderful to offer me a job like this, and I wasn't wonderful. And therefore, I realized a new principle was I'm not responsible for what other people think I'm able to do. I don't have to be good because they think I'm going to be good. And somehow or other, I could relax about this. And I thought to myself, I haven't done anything important. Well, I'm never going to do anything important. But I used to enjoy physics and mathematical things, and because I used to play with it. It was never very important, but I used to do things for the fun of it. So I decided I'm going to do things only for the fun of it. And only that afternoon when I was eating lunch, some kid threw up a plate in the cafeteria, which has a blue medallion on the plate, the Cornell sign in the cafeteria. And as he threw up the plate and it came down, it wobbled and the blue thing went around like this. And I wondered, it seemed to me the blue thing went around faster than the wobble, and I wondered what the relation was between the two. See, I was just playing, no importance at all. So I played around with the equations of motion of uh, rotating things, and I found out that if the wobble is small, the blue thing goes around twice as fast as the wobble goes around. And then I tried to figure out if I could see why that was directly from Newton's laws instead of through the complicated equations, and I worked that out for the fun of it. And then I went to Hans Beta, and I said to him, hey, by the way, I show you something amusing, and I explained this to him. And he said to me, that's very amusing and interesting. He said, but what is the use of it? What? I said, that doesn't make any difference, it hasn't any use. I'm just doing it for the fun of it. And then Bob Wilson, who was the head of the nuclear lab there, the same Bob Wilson, had some kind of instinct or something, because it was at the same day or other that he called me in and he told me that when they hire a professor at the university, it's their responsibility what the professor does, and it's their risk, and if he doesn't do anything or he doesn't accomplish anything, it's not his thing to worry about that. And they're taking the risk to put him in the environment, and I should do whatever I want, amuse myself or whatever I want. So with that double combination, I could relax. Somehow I was uh, getting out from some psychological problem, and I relaxed and started to play, play it, as I said, with the rotation. And this rotation led me to the problem, a similar problem of the rotation of the spin of an electron, according to Dirac's equation, and that just led me back into quantum electrodynamics, which is the problem I've been working on, and I kept, I kept continuing now to play with it in the relaxed fashion I had originally done, and everything, it's just like taking a cork out of a bottle, everything just poured out. I, by the way, in a very short order, worked the things out for which I later won the Nobel Prize.